Hey guys, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. It is January the 29th, 2017 at about 9.30 a.m. or so. And guess what that is? That is a tiny home that you could really live in, and it's 5,000 bucks. It's a 10 by 20, and uh, it's got everything you need. I mean, you just have to finish it out, that's all. But let's go look at it. It's got a little patio in the front. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Got a metal door. The door is about six foot high. Okay, this is a six foot door opening. I'm six foot two, so I had two inches I had to knock off. So now we're inside, a little cool outside this morning. But anyway, here it is right here. This is actually a repossessed unit that they're asking $5,188 for. And uh, you could finance it rent to own for $240 a month. And again, this is in Central Texas, USA. I'm in a little community called Buckhannon Dam. It's at the intersection of 1431 and Highway 21, 29 in Central Texas. And, uh, but again, this is a 10 by 20 is what they say. But let me spin around here. And also the uh, wall height is about seven feet. Okay, because I'm six foot two, and I come to about right here, so right up in here. So it's about, the ceiling height right here where I'm standing is about seven feet, and we'll turn around and go in here. It's got windows, got a window here, got a window up there, and a window on this side. And what I like, it's got up here, it's got a big loft, and I mean a big old loft, okay? Let me put the deal up there where you can see it. That's the loft, and that could be used for a, I don't know, a bedroom area, study area, whatever you want to use it for. A lot of space up there. And you can also put up in there, you can put vents, you know, roof vents that will pull the area. Actually, you could get you one of those fantastic fans or something along that line and put one up in there and spin around here. There's another loft on the other end of this thing right here. And do the same thing over here. Get you one of those fantastic vent fans and put it up in there somewhere or else get our ceiling fan, whatever you want to do to move the air and cool those areas. And, uh, you know, that, that's a bit, there's a lot of space there. I mean, you know, one of these could be used as a, a living room study area. The other one could be used as a bedroom area. And then this whole, that frees this whole area up down here for your kitchen, dining, uh, you know, cooking, whatever area. And again, for, for lighting and stuff, you could go with solar. You know, they make these little solar lights that you just set out side during the day they absorb energy and then in the evenings you bring them in and hang them up and you've got lighting for several hours uh for i don't know they're like three or four dollars a piece and, it, and for my suggestion is is for info on how to live off the grid is to go to there's two websites one would be enigmatic nomadics e -N, enigmatic nomadics and the other would be cheap rv living on YouTube, YouTube channels, because they they uh, their videos are primarily related to people that are living in vans or cars or RVs and are living off the grid. Okay, they're using solar and and propane for heating, and they're using all kind of things. But they're they're living off the grid entirely. You know, you can get a composting toilet. You can get uh, other kinds of RV toilets that uh, don't flush or don't use any water. And uh, there's, believe me, there's a, a lot of ways to live very, very comfortably entirely off the grid with no electric, no water, and no septic. Okay, you can, you can defeat all three of those and live basically completely off the grid, very comfortably, and enjoy your life. Now this one right here, Again, it's a 10 by 20, and um, it's got a plywood floor. You may want to cover that with something, but you could. You could buy you some either indoor, outdoor carpet, linoleum, or whatever you felt like you wanted, and put it on the floor. But 
as far as having to be hooked up to power. See, when I move my RV, I live in an RV, I full-time RV, and I also go camping in a car. So I know a lot about how to live off the grid, so to speak. But had I known what I know now, I would not have water, electric, or septic. Because, uh, you know, those are expensive. I paid for those three items, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000. Okay, that's six or seven thousand dollars I could have spent on solar and other things and been much cheaper. I mean, I wouldn't have to pay a water bill. I mean, I could do that now, actually, and I think about it. You know, and go to a composting toilet or something else. But be that as it may, check out uh, Enigmatic Nomadics channel on YouTube or Cheap RV Living uh, channel and look and see how these van dwellers are living in their vans off the grid and apply those same principles to living here in one of these little tiny homes. I mean, I'm not kidding you because up here, I mean, you got a lot of space here. I mean, I live in a 26 foot RV and uh, this place has got 10 times, or not 10, it's got a lot more space. And this up here, you know, this loft, you know, that's just amazing. You, you know, you could put a a bed up there or make a study out of that or whatever you wanted to do and fix you up a little ladder that you know you could put up and take down and the same way over here you know fix you up a, you know have you a little ladder that uh, that just slides you, know, you slide up and down to as you want to go up and down you know, I just think it's neater than hell but anyway having said that this is Rusty 78609 in Central Texas USA Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy USA made when you can. Uh, take deep breaths, that does relieve stress. Stress, Re breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Do it a few times every day, it does help. And stretch, walk, keep your health, because what good will it do you to have you a tiny home off the grid if you aren't healthy, okay? So anyway, guys, thumbs up, enjoy your day, adios, bye-bye.